<laughs> you one of the outsiders, then? I am. Shula invited me. Are you Manda's father? I am. <laughs> Got you running errands for her already, has she? She's asked to see my chocobo, but I'd need your help and your boat to bring her here. <sighs> or you could just say it no. Honestly, that girl and her birds shall be growing feathers soon enough. Well, truth be told, I didn't take the idea seriously at first. But thinking about it, it would make it easier to get around if I had Ambrosia here. Can you help? <sighs> if you're sure that's what you want. The tributary says where to treat you lot as we would each other. So, if you need me to ferry your bird over, then that's what I'll do. Still, they don't take the water easily. I'll need you to bring us a mimic gourd or two to keep her calm on the journey over. And, uh, where would I find one of those? Oh, don't ask me. It's been years since I last brought a chocobo across the bay, and I'm told the world's changed a fair bit since then. Where do you usually get your stable supplies from? Well, the man who made Ambrosius tack lived in Martha's Rest, and... If I remember correctly, he traded in Chocobo feed too. So I suppose I'll go and ask him. I'll be sailing over to Northreach soon to pick up some supplies. While I do that, you collect your bird and your gourd, and then meet me by the shore. Just don't take too long, alright? Spare name. You want a bed for the night? You speak to Martha. How do you? There you go. trade. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Much obliged. There you go. one of those. A fair trade. Thanks very much. Much obliged. Remember you? You're the one who saved Whiteheart. How's the old girl doing? She's very well. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. You're the one who saved her. Anyway, Ma brings you to the rest today. I was hoping to purchase a Mimit Gourd. And I thought you might be able to tell me where I could find one. Oh, reckon I could do better than that. Just so happens. I've got a whole carload of the blasted things, not a buyer in sight. Really? 
Aye, you'd be doing me a favor taking a few off my hands before they turn to mush. But just be on the lookout for wild birds, eh? Don't want them chasing after you like they did me. <laughs> I will. And thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Any friend of Whiteheart is a friend of mine. And in times like these, friends have got to stick together. We certainly do. Northridge, then. Wouldn't want to keep Anders' father waiting. And now more I help the garrison today. Those things didn't fight like men. This must be Ambrosia, was it? Oh, she's a real beauty, isn't she? I have the mimic or two. Here. Thank you kindly. Soon as she's gobbled this up, we'll set sail. We're going to take a little trip across the bay now, Ambrosia. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Well, we made it. You did and all. <laughs> she is as white as snow. You're beautiful, aren't you, girl? Brave, too. She was calm as you like on the journey over. The mimic gourd will have played its part, of course, but passing through the walls enough to spook most birds even then. Not this one, though. Ambrosia's been through a lot. I doubt there's much that could unnerve her now. Not with a beloved master by her side. No. It's you who looks after me, isn't it, girl? Anyway, thanks for bringing her here. I hope I can breed a bird like her someday. And if you and Ambrosia need ferrying back to Northreach, you only need say the word. Thank you. But I think we might explore Mysidia together. What do you say, Ambrosia? 